So yeah, I'm getting ready to, well, I'm waiting for dispatch to send me something. But we're having our coffee this morning. It is Monday morning. Where's my phone? I got one somewhere. Where's my phone? There it is. What is it? It's uh, May 9th. No, it's May 9th. We're gonna finish up our coffee and then I was kind of mopping up the floor a little bit. I gotta pick up them two plates. That's uh, what Jake and Pooh ate out of. But I mopped up my floor pretty good. I just wanna finish kind of straightening the truck a little bit. I did most of it. Well, we sat all weekend. So we did most of it while we were setting, but I just wanna pick everything up. I gotta dump my mop bucket out and uh, put my bucket where it belongs. What I do is I put water in my Burton and I heat it up, get it really, really super hot. And I put it in my bucket and add cold water to it. I got my, uh, I put a little soap in it. Not much, because I don't want it too sudsy. I put a little soap in it. And we mop our floors. But anyway, we're gonna finish our coffee. See where we're gonna go. Be right back. Big wheels rolling, big wheels rolling, moving on. Big wheels rolling, I gotta keep them going. Big wheels. Well, hello everybody. We are getting ready to roll. Yes, we are. We got to go pick up pet food. It's going to Columbus, Ohio. So I can re refill my blood pressure medicine. We had a nice little break here. We were down all weekend, but that's okay. I ran good for two weeks, so. Speaking of blood pressure medicine, I'm taking it right now. We did clean up the truck a bit. Looks good in here now again. It's amazing, you know, when you're working, you don't really have the time to um, or I don't anyway, really have time. I mean, I straighten it out every day, but I mean, really do a throw clean, you know, do laundry, different things like that. Ah, but it feels good to be working again. We're going to be rolling through the night a little bit. I also want to find me a blue beacon between here and there so I can wash my truck. I got to wash my bike. I didn't really use my bike because my bike was kind of dirty and this from the oh, I guess I got to build pressure there it goes there it goes only bad thing about an automatic transmission it needs air to run I can see something right now that's going to fall. But it's nothing important. It ain't even something heavy, but I can see that it's probably going to fall. Oh, well. We'll pick it up if it does. Alright, Snyder, what are you thinking or planning on doing here, my friend? Besides, you, you might be thinking about parking, maybe? I don't know what he's thinking about. I just want to get out of his way. Truck entrance. Oh, oops. Am I going the wrong way? I'm going out the wrong way. 
Oh. Okay, that was fun. Rough road. That's all right. We can still go out this way. I was closer to it, so I, I thought it was the entrance going out, but it weren't. This guy is actually in our lane. <laughs> That's not a, I don't think it is. It might be. Maybe they need to come out here and get some more paint. I don't think that's a turning lane. I really don't. There's no markings there. It's all right though, we got a restart. Now we're gonna drive uh, uh, quite a bit through the night here on this load that we're picking up. I know the later it is, the harder it is to park, but but we are out in the middle west here, or middle, or what do you want to call it? The Midwest, yeah. So it may not be too too hard to park, right? Yeah, 90s just right up here. Yeah. In a quarter of a mile, keep to the right on I 90 East. Imagine this stuff is going to be a little heavy. Well, we got our reefer set for 10 below. That's what the uh, broker said to do. So. They may have us actually turn the temperature up. I mean, it's pet food, so I doubt if they want it so solid, you know. Unless it's popsicles for them. <laughs> well, we are in South Dakota. was a nice little break I enjoyed that I, I really did got some laundry done for myself Continue on this road for 3.4 miles 3.4 miles anyway guys let's get her on down the road thank you for following like always I do appreciate it it's nothing clamber about what we do we just Basically, we just go up and down the road in a truck and deliver freight, pick up freight. Me and my two little dogs, we live out here on the road. Most of the time, anyway, we do. I told you. I don't know if you guys heard it, but I certainly did. Hey, Jake. Stay up here, buddy. Well, we're in a town called Orange City, Iowa. We're only 2.4 tenths. A little overcast and windy. That little bit. This is the northwest corner of Iowa, pretty much. Uh, Orange City. Discovered the Dutch. Huh. Well, 
Orange City Veterinarian Clinic. Pizza Ranch. Look, there's a pizza ranch here. Huh. It sure is. Hey, I see a big truck back there. Hey, we might have some pizza ranch when we get done here. I did see a big truck back there. Speed limit reduced the head. Nor Northwest Iowa Community College. That was a very, very small place there. Oh, you see that windmill to our right? Pretty neat. Two tenths of a mile. We gotta make a turn. It might be the light up here. In 900 feet, turn left on Albany Place, CRK 64. Industrial Park, I bet it is. Yeah, I bet it is. Okay, four tenths of a mile, says make a lift, Ponda says go straight on, just a matter of looking for the uh, the truck entrance. Left side. Uh, receiving truck entrance. I don't know if this is it. Southfield. Somebody said it might be called Southfield. We need shipping. And I bet you. Yeah, it's going to take them a while to load because, well, <laughs> I just found out my load ain't really, really ready until Thursday. So they're doing some number changing around and they'll still load me today, but they weren't sure exactly how long it would take. So I talked this guy and they let me go to this little bitty store here in town so I can get some groceries for my truck. Even though I took that 34, you don't go grocery shopping at a Flying J, right? And there was no Walmarts or anything around, so we're just going to do some grocery shopping. It's called Fairway. It don't need to be a Walmart. I don't care if it's a Walmart or not. But we're just going to get some groceries. So, be right back, folks. Uh, first way. Truck number? 530. Thank you, I have your way. You can pull off. Okay. Alright, guys, as you know, we just, it's dark, right? We got loaded some time ago, but not too long ago. 
I got a way and then I got a fuel. I know it's dark in here. Look out, Jake. So now we're just gonna go around and we're gonna uh, fuel our truck. We'll be right back. Well, good morning, guys. It is the next day and uh, we're at a rest area here in Iowa. And we gotta take off. Yeah, we're on our way to uh, Columbus. Uh, we left you guys last night. We went to the scale house and we scaled our load. And I still had two hours left to drive, but I knew it was going to be, the later it got, the harder it was going to be to park somewhere. So I decided to just hang it up right where I was, right here, which is about uh, roughly well, about 45 minutes from where we skilled the load. We're not too far from Council Bluff. We had our coffee this morning. We had our breakfast. We just had a bowl of cereal. We didn't have any. We didn't have anything glamorous, but am I seeing somebody? Somebody's crossing the interstate. Sure enough, from the rust area, I see somebody crossing that interstate. How dangerous! Wow. <laughs> Maybe the bathroom's over in the uh, northbound didn't work, right? Or southbound. They walked over to the northbound. Well, we're going to get a, qu uh, a good distance today anyway. See how far we can get. making a salad and I'll show you guys here in a minute but uh I got me some regular salad making so I don't have to shred the lettuce there's it's like garden salad you know we'll pour some of this on my plate we got it yesterday so it's still fresh And then 
put it in our Ziploc bag, kind of keep the uh, keep it moist if we can. We can get it in there, right? Only thing I don't have is cheese. I forgot to get cheese, but uh, I did get some mushrooms. I do like mushrooms. Put some of these on my salad as well. Put this stuff in as I go so that way I don't have to forget. You know, I don't want to forget. And we got some cottage cheese. A lot of salad bars now at the uh, truck stops don't even have that on there. But I like my cottage cheese. pickles see I'll toss me one or two of them on there I like my I like pickles but I like bread and butter pickles oh yeah I don't like the hamburger pickles you know especially if you go to McDonald's or something they're 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 rubber they're not even real We got some salt and pepper. A little bit of that on our salad. Probably won't look like inside a truck stop salad, but it's eatable, right? Alright, and then we'll put this back. That's my salt and pepper. And, I don't know what kind of dressing you all like, but really myself, I got the California French style dressing. Oh yeah. We're going to go over our 30 minute break a little bit, but that's okay. Okay, if we're gonna eat, then we're gonna get back on the road. We'll be right back. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. We are actually here in Indiana, and uh, we decided to stop here at the rest area last night and get us some sleep. And now we're gonna finish out our trip today. And uh, we are now uh, headed to Columbus. We're gonna finish it out. It is the 11th of May. As you guys can see, it's a little foggy out there. Oh yeah, we got the fog, but that's okay. We're we're gonna be on the toll road. And we're gonna take this 
actually all the way to uh, Interstate 69. trucks rolling end to end what a sight to see how did it all begin corporal norm said help me so the drivers all pitched in and with hearts of gold they hit the road for his special friends now there's a little piece of heaven brought with every load when those highway angels come to spread their wings The world's largest truck convoy rolling down the road To that special athlete, it means everything They all come together the same time every year From coast to coast, north to south, they graciously appear Bringing hope and lots of love, loaded on 18 wheels They'll jam some gears and shed some tears to show how truckers feel There's a little piece of heaven brought with every load when those highway angels come to spread their wings The world's largest truck convoy rolling down the road To that special athlete, it means everything Well, the humming of the engines, the blowing of the horns The black smoke filling up the air It's the greatest show on earth Imagine what it's worth to that smiling face who sees someone that cares. There's a little piece of heaven brought with every load. When those highway angels come and spread their wings, the world's largest truck convoy rolling down the road. To that special athlete, it means everything. Yeah, the world's largest truck convoy rolling down the road To that special athlete, it means everything
but I got my bases covered. Yeah, and uh, I treat my buddies like gold, okay? And uh, anyway, you'll see what it is. I want to tell you guys so bad, but just wait till tomorrow, which you'll probably have to wait till the next day. But you guys will know what it is. So anyway. We're done. We're out of here. Thank you for watching. And we'll catch you guys later. Have a good one. Later.